with the food, and then uh, di uh, swig on a little bit of apple cider vinegar to activate the enzymes. Between all of those, and there's uh, the healthy start pack, by the way, that's always a must-have. So make sure you're doing the healthy start pack. Yeah, I okay. actually have the the digestion, the body digestion pack. Okay, that has the I enzymes. Have... Then that has the enzymes in it. Then make sure yeah. you're using the enzymes and then washing it down with some apple cider vinegar. But also, I don't think there's the fucoidin Z is in there, so you're going to want some of that too. And then I like the Biolumin Nightly Essence way better than the uh, Flora FX. There's a lot more bacteria and you get enzymes in there. It's a little pricier, but it's worth it. Okay, and guarantee you, guarantee you, between all of those, Isaac, you're going to notice a difference, probably eliminate the problem entirely. And this is very important because your problem may start off as a digestive system problem, but it's going to tumble out of control, uh, and it's going to end up with all, uh, once you start off with a digestive tract issue, you can wind up with all kinds of horrible things uh, that you don't want to have or even think about, Isaac. So it's very important you get this under control. Thanks so much for your call. Appreciate it. Does that help you? Yeah, I just wanted to say one more thing. Um, sure. Is it, necess is, is it uh, beneficial for me, and will I still get the full benefits from the supplements if I don't eat, like, to give my... Oh, yeah. No, you mean if you don't eat with the supplement? No, no, no. Not just eat the supplement. It's just eat at all, like, during the program, like, the day. You don't need to daily. eat. No, eating's overrated. You need a little nutrition, for sure, but you don't need to eat a lot of food. You can take days off from food. That's not a problem. In fact, that's, that's good for you. Gives yourself a break. Gives your digestive system a break. Okay. All right. I got to move All on, right. buddy. Thank you so All much right. for your call. Thank Hope you. we helped you. Thanks, Isaac. Okay, Nadia, what's going on? How you doing, buddy? Hi, it's a female. Oh, oh, Nasima. I thought you were my friend, Nadia. Nasim, who is this? No, I said a female. I thought, oh, what's up, buddy? So I thought you. Oh no, guy. you know, there's a friend. <laughs> I have a friend named Nadia who's a guy. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, that's okay. That's okay. okay. Well, okay. I was diagnosed with breast cancer four and a half months ago. It was okay. early And I had a lumpectomy and then radiation. Unfortunately, I declined it, but they, you know, they scare you and they say, you know, it's Of course protocol. they do. Of course they do. Here's what you need so, to do. So now they want to put me on tamoxifen, which I'm refusing. Well, you should. Read it, read up on it. I'm not telling you you should, but you read up on it. That's what I'll tell you. I, read I the, did. I did. Okay. It's, it's horrible, right? It. It's horrible. I'm not on it yet. And, um... So, so you want my tumor was ER, ER positive. I'll make it really quick for you. And um, the HERS, too, if you know anything about breast cancer, is yes. negative. Okay, now HERS. they want me to... I'm sorry, go ahead. Go. You said HERS negative. Yes, and okay. ER, ER positive. Okay. Estrogen and uh, progesterone positive. Okay. And the tumor was 1.3 when they, when they found it under... Um, they did MRIs. So okay. Well, hang on. Here, I don't. The grim details, believe it or not, are not that important. They're only important to your doctor, who's gonna, who, who needs to know whether you should hack off your body or not. So they're not. Well, what I need to know is other symptoms, because breast cancer is not the first thing that you get. All right. Breast cancer shows up after long-term breakdown somewhere. All cancers are like this. Cancers take right. years to develop. Decades to develop sometimes. Occasionally, right. there's exceptions, of course. Well, I didn't go rid... anywhere. They took the, uh, uh, the auxiliary node. It was negative. And well, hang on, my dear. Oh. Hang on. I want to help you. I want to help you here. Hang on. I don't need any details because I get the picture. Well, we want to help you now. Okay? Sure. What have you had? This is, and you can either tell me or you can think about it because you may need to place some attention on this. What has been going on in your body? You sound like you're 30s or 40s, I'm guessing? 45. Okay. 45. So what has been going on in your body for the last 30 or 40 years in terms of breakdown? Stuff has been going on that you haven't noticed. It's been going under the radar. This is how the body works. This is how disease takes place. The body whispers to us. It whispers to us with a little bloating or a little gas. It whispers to us with a little dizziness. It whispers to us with a little hypoglycemia or Blood low blood sugar, and then it starts talking louder and louder and louder, and finally it says, breast cancer! You know what I'm saying? It whispers, and it, it whispers. So we got to find out what was going on underneath if we're really going to take care of this problem. Well, what I believe, what I believe mine was stress-related. Well, that didn't help, but that's not the cause. That didn't okay. help, absolutely. There's other things underneath. Now, your point is, first of all, stress, you mean emotional stress, I'm taking it, psychological. Well, I want my sister last year to call on cancer. We don't have okay. to. Okay, well, that's definitely an emotional stress and a psychological stress, and you're on the right track. You do need to eliminate those because that will suppress your immune system for sure. But what I'm talking about is physical stress, physiologic stress. And most of the time, that's a blood sugar stress or it's a digestive stress, which means you want to focus first. Cancer loves sugar. So as soon as your blood sugar is messed up and your blood sugar starts to rise, you're asking, you're not asking, but you're inducing uh, uh, cancer because cancer feeds on sugar. 
and as we get less oxygen, cancer hates oxygen, uh, as we get less oxygen and toxicity builds up, again, we induce cancer. So right. first first of all, we got to see where the physiologic stresses are coming into the body. The first thing well, is going to be... Eat, I don't eat sugar. Well, hang on, because I only got about 30 seconds here, okay? Oh, gosh. Okay. We got, and then you can send me an email, put your phone number on there, and I'll work with you personally on the phone. But I want all our listeners to hear this. And when you say you don't eat sugar, that's great, but I, I, I call BS on that with all due respect, all right? There's no way you don't eat sugar, because bread is sugar, and oatmeal is sugar, and pasta is sugar, and rice is sugar, unless you're one in 300 million Americans who don't don't eat any of those things, which you may be, I suppose. Uh, well, chances actually, are, I don't because I'm gluten-free, I'm soy-free, I'm sugar-free. doesn't matter. It That's doesn't matter, sweetheart. Be- potatoes, I don't have gluten in them. So, potatoes, a big lump of sugar. That's no gluten. You can be gluten. Potatoes, either I eat sweet potatoes, so I don't know. Well, oh, okay, sweet potatoes. They don't have any sugar in them, do they? There's no sugar in sweet potatoes, right? Why do you think well, they call them sweet? <laughs> not, yeah, they're not sweet because they got... <laughs> See what I'm saying here? You started off by telling me you don't eat sugar, and now I'm here you eat sweet potatoes. I don't care. I'm not beating you up. I want everybody to hear. These are the kinds of things we think in our head. When Nadja's not unusual, she's like all of us. She thinks she doesn't eat sugar, but she eats sweet potatoes. Now, I don't care if sweet potatoes have good things in them. I'm not beating you up about that. I'm just telling you, you got to focus on these things. You can't have preconceived ideas. You can't say, I don't eat sugar. You can't say, I have a great diet. You wouldn't have cancer. You wouldn't have whatever it is you have. And I, please, Nadia, I love you. I'm not being mean to you. I don't mean to be mean to you. I want everybody to hear this so we can get better. And so we can actually address our health issues without having to go to a doctor who's going to cut our breasts off and drug us. All right, Nadia, send me an email, ben at ksco.com, if I didn't piss you off too much. And uh, put your phone number on there, and I'll work with you personally. Thanks for listening, folks. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You've been listening to The Bright Side. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now. Have you heard? Proactive Plus is faster and better than ever. Stay tuned for a million bottle giveaway and you'll also receive free shipping. Do you have troubled skin? Acne? Well, we have great news. With Proactive Plus, your acne can heal and you can help prevent new breakouts from happening. Don't miss this limited time offer. Give us a call at 800-538-5252 because we're going to let a million people try Proactive Plus risk-free and get two free gifts and also receive free shipping when you call right now. You heard it. This offer won't last long. So call Proactive Plus now and you'll receive a 60-day risk-free trial of Proactive Plus, two free extras, and free shipping. Call 800-538-5252. This is our exclusive radio offer, never on TV. Get your risk-free 60-day trial of Proactive Plus with free shipping. That's right, free shipping. Don't wait. Call 800-538-5252. That's 800-538-5252. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237.